Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kastler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from a patron, and that's Roy Gertig, and he sent me this message. Here's a specific question about ham radio. We talk about current in the house coming in on the black and returning on the white for alternating current. We feed an antenna and we see the representation of current across the dipole. However, where is the return leg making this alternating current? Uh, thanks from N0RG, Roy. Okay, well, I want to, before we jump into this, thank another patron, Kyle McDaniel, a very recent uh, patron, uh, W7EZE. You too can become a patron and um, I will make a note that when I get questions from patrons, they get first priority. So, because they are really, really making a difference, helping keep this channel going. Uh, you too can become a patron by going to patreon.com slash ke0og. And now let's jump into the answer. Okay, now there's two wires for AC. Uh, the black... And this comes from the panel, okay, panel in the house. There's a black wire and a white wire, which I'm going to call, well, let's see, red is actually used in house wiring. And we'll say this is the white wire. This is customarily referred to as hot. And... The other one is customarily um, called the neutral. Now there's often a third wire in there for your third plug called green wire ground. Now there should be no current on the green wire ground. The point is, if there is, there's a fault somewhere, and it will cause the breaker to trigger if you got the right kind of breaker and all that. Now, we're talking about AC current here. Okay, so let's draw some AC current like this. Okay, it's going back and forth at 60 hertz, 60 times a second. Okay, and yet we say, okay, the RMS voltage is about 120, okay? And we say that the current flows in this direction when obviously it's going back and forth. But we say it flows in this direction because this is the direction of the energy flow. Okay, now, it comes back on the neutral and it goes to the panel. Note this is unbalanced because the neutral is connected in the panel to the ground and the orange and it comes out here to the ground rod. Okay, the only place in the house is this one place where the neutral green wire ground and the neutral from the uh, panel uh, go together. Okay, so we call this current flowing here and note that the current flows this way. It's an unbalanced system, but we're not worried about radiating RF, so it's just easier to do it this way. Hot is black in AC wiring. The neutral is white, and the green is the ground. Okay, and there's a endless, um, endless uh, code specifications on how this is supposed to be done. Now, let's take a look at our RF. RF is all different. Okay. Now, in AC power, you've got your little house, and you've got your circuits. And it's fed from the pole, where there's a transformer, and then the high voltage lines come by. And these are like 12,000 
volts. So an interesting phenomenon happens at high voltage. The current tends to travel on the outside. So if you've got a conductor like this, the area where the current is on the high voltage is right on the surface of that, okay? So um, it used to be when they did uh, high tension wires that this would be hollow, but now I understand they fill it in with something that makes the wire stronger, okay? So that's your normal AC. Now let's look at RF. We've got an antenna antenna okay and we've got a transmission line and in this case we've got a balance well we'll do it with coax let's just do it with coax we've got a balanced dipole we have right here a one to one balance because the dipole is a balanced antenna. So current goes this way, and then current goes this way, and so on. Um, and then this comes down as a coax. The outer shield of the coax, which is, let me see if I can zoom in on that. Okay, here's the coax. You see that, and it's cross-section right here that the outside is completely covered in aluminum plus it has a tinned copper shield around it there's insulation and then a center conductor this is an unbalanced line the outside is ground the inside is the hot okay all right so that's what the coax is right here coming down here so we have a transmitter with a one-to-one -one balance, because this is balanced here, this is the equivalent of a transformer between the 50 ohms in the uh, transmission line and the 377 ohms of space. This looks to the transmitter like a 50 ohm load resistor, and this will dissipate power as heat if it's a dummy load, or it will dissipate power as radiative energy. So if you look at the energy flow, the energy flow is up and out. It comes this way and out to space, okay? And I mentioned here that you could look at a trans a uh, antenna as being a transformer between a 50 ohm uh, that's uh, impedance and a 377 ohm impedance which is the impedance of free space so energy comes this way okay so this is what happens if you want to find your equivalent circuit to make your AC you, you write about one thing we look at AC RMS voltage and we say that the current goes in the direction of the energy. Now, this, um, how the energy travels in the coax is a different story, but I just wanted to point out, you do have a complete circuit from uh, your uh, transmitter. It goes out, it looks like it sees a 50 ohm load, and you get uh, your return current coming back this way. Now, note that because there is a load, you've got an impedance here, and the impedance is the ratio of the voltage to the current, okay? And uh, you can do lots of other things for SWR and so on. I hope that answers your question. Roy, I hope that answers your question that um, RF and AC have some similarities, okay? You've got the first one right. The hot has the current coming in. That's AC current, and it's RMS current. And we talk about current flowing in the direction toward the load 
from the power source. That gives us the direction of current. If you turn the switch off, there's no complete circuit. The current does not flow. Okay, now if you have a solar system, it is possible to actually push current back at the utility. That'll run your meter backwards. And whether they pay you or not for that depends greatly from state to state. A lot of people think it should be net metering. If you receive a kilowatt hour for uh, 15 cents and you push a kilowatt hour back, you want 15 cents from them. That's a nice rosy-eyed statistic because that ignores the cost of transmission, which is high. Uh, all those transformers, all those poles, everything like that. So in some states, they will give you the wholesale value of the electricity as if they bought it from some other supplier rather than the retail value which ignores all the transmission lines and so on. That by the way is a big political dispute. I won't land on one side or another. I love net metering but it's not really fair to the utility. Okay now Roy has another question. He says where can I find a numbered listing of all your videos? Each time I search they're all over the place. I get number 378 then number 46. Go to my channel, okay? It's youtube.com slash Dave Kassler. D-A-V-E-C-A-S-L-E-R, okay? That'll take you to my channel's home page. And you'll see across the top, uh, there's one of the things that says videos. And then there's another thing that says playlists. Go to the playlists and find the Ask Dave playlist. That should give you the numbered um, listing of all of them. With over 900 videos, it becomes very difficult, very bulky to put that all online. We used to keep a, a list of them. It got dropped around number 250 because it just got unwieldy. I know people have asked, can I create some sort of an index? To 900 videos? That sounds like a great project for a volunteer, um, but then it's got to be kept current. And if you have a video that only talks a little bit about your favorite subject, should that be in the index for that subject or not? So it's not an easy question to answer. Roy, thank you for being a patron. Uh, if you've watched this far in this video, uh, you uh, may want to subscribe to it. If you subscribe, uh, it tells YouTube this is a video worth watching and they'll recommend it to other people. It doesn't cost you anything. If you want to add to channel funds, you can go to decastlercom slash support and pick a way that works for you. And until we next meet, 73.